Now listen, whenever I tell people I have four sisters, they always react the same way. They always go, oh, your poor father. Like it's a disease. I'm like, he did it. He had three girls. He tried for a boy. The man had a gambling problem. You don't shake your dick like a pair of dice. I hope you get one with a fuse this time. No. I have one sister who's a nurse. And, uh, you know, I know I was giving the healthcare heroes shit earlier, but I do want to say this on her behalf. Nobody appreciates nurses as much as they do. <laughs> They're heroes. They are. And they'll tell you. Now, it's not that what they're doing isn't heroic. It is. It's, it is a heroic thing. Um, but it's a bummer to hear about. And they never shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't ever ask a nurse how her day went. No, you're going to get a story that's going to fuck yours up, right? <laughs> it will. I called my sister. Hey, how's your day? It was pretty rough. <laughs> like, surprise. <laughs> I took the bait, I was like, what happened? She goes, I had to pull the plug on my favorite patient. I was like, Jesus Christ. Your favorite patient. What do you do to the ones you don't like? <laughs> she hated that. She was so mad. Not everything has to be a fucking joke, Rosie. And I was like, no, you set it up. I feel like I knocked it out of the park. <laughs> this was teamwork. We're both killing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been through a lot of shit together. A lot of shit. I have one sister that passed away. And she passed away a long time ago, 18 years ago. So I want everybody to know everyone's okay in the family, you know, especially her. I mean, I've never been dead, but I could use a forever nap. I'm fucking tired. And I've never heard her complain about it, so no news. No news is good news. Anyways, she is the sister I get along best with. She's a good listener. <laughs> Whenever I say I have a dead sibling, and anybody with a dead family member can probably relate to this, people get real fucking weird. They get so overly sympathetic, it's like you feel like they lost someone. I don't know if this has happened to you, but whenever I say I have a dead sibling, they go, how did she die? I'm like, she drowned. And then they go, how did she drown? <laughs> like, it's water. Uh, it wasn't Willy Wonka's chocolate river. It was... <laughs> but I realized they're not asking how did she drown, they're asking where did she drown? That's really what they're asking. And they can't ask it like that, because then it just sounds like they're gonna go look for her. <laughs> like start a search party. So I have to fill in the blanks, and I hate filling in the blanks of this part of the story because I, this is tragic and awful, worst thing that happened to my family. But my sister drowned in a jacuzzi, <laughs> which is like a really festive place to drown. <laughs> it throws off the story, guys. It's like hearing somebody got shot in the head with a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> What the fuck? It makes it seem less sad. It does. And I want it, people to know that it was sad, you know, but if you hear somebody died in a boating accident and then you hear it was a private yacht, you know, somewhere in the back of your mind, you go, nice. <laughs> Not bad. The jacuzzi is where I lost my virginity to make it special. And she took that from me. <laughs> so who's the real victim? <laughs> I was at the funeral. I turned to my sister, the living one, and uh, 
The other one could have been there, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> I turned to her, I go, hey, uh, why are we all wearing black? And she goes, it's to honor the dead. And I was like, why? She goes, it's what the dead would have wanted. <laughs> and I was like, well, I feel like if we're wearing what the dead would have wanted, we'd all be in life jackets. 